Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? This is season four of the LDW series. I'm your host, George Harris King. All right, Lions Roar 3. You saw it. We got new tag champs and a new world champion. Um, Jamie Wilson and Michael Uggen are your new tag champs. Hangman Page overcame the obstacles and is the second world uh, it's not second. He is now the third LDW World Heavyweight Champion, and this is his second title reign, which is pretty awesome. Um, in the junior heavyweight division, Jeff Bryan still holds the belt. Um, Sick Nick still holds his belt as well. Uh, we've signed a lot of people, you know. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and look at our people now. We gotta give some people raises, by the way. Forgot to do this at the end of that season. So Ricochet has a raise now. Let's see. He just got a raise now. Everybody wants a raise, and I forgot to do this at the end of the season. Tessa should get a small raise because she didn't really do that much. I mean, she was tag champ, but nah. Is Owen? He'll get a little something. You only get a big raise if you made some serious progress. I know Baron says something about a raise. Doesn't really deserve one. Let's see. Pentagon. Pentagon deserves a big raise, especially because he won at um, Lions Roar 3. Oh, he doesn't need a raise. He just got hired. People that just got hired don't need <clears throat> don't need raises at all. Get myself together here. Consultation. Jeff Bryan, a double champ. Boom, right there. Jamie, she gets a raise. She already gets paid a lot more than a lot of people, even the world champ. So, she does not need a serious raise. Stanley, he can get a small one. Let's see. Davy Carlos, he stands there. He's still new. Well, he won a whole season. He didn't get a raise, so he'll get this because he lost. Um, Elgin, he gets a raise. Mm, Abdullah does not need. Well, Abdullah won, so he gets a raise. Um, he just got hired. And he just got hired. Okay, so goals by this season. Crown our junior heavyweight champions. We're at rank number six when it comes to the um, promotions. Our goal by the end of this season is to be rank number four. And then when it comes to future seasons, if we have a, if we have a season five, I'm still debating on it. Um... The goal is to be ranked number one, and if we can make it to rank number one by the fifth season, that would be awesome. If we make it to rank number one this season, that would be even way better, but it's not realistic. So, there's that. Um, let's see. We really got, see, we've built up the junior heavyweight division. We have how many people? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, um, eight. Okay, so we have eight junior heavyweights. Um, we already have an established um, heavyweight division, but we need more heavyweights when it comes to, um, you know, future. It's like here's the thing with with where we're at right now. We have how many people overall? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that's so sixteen, that's seventeen. Okay, so we have seventeen people in total. 
we're gonna need at least three more people maybe three maybe even more than that because we really like here's my goal moving forward with LDW we need I'm going to split people up you know how we've been mixing the divisions up like some juniors can go for the heavyweight belt uh, heavyweights can well the trios championship is for everybody um, when it comes to the heavyweight title we are not we are no longer going to let juniors face the heavyweight champion we're gonna be a legitimate promotion where it's divided into weight classes okay they don't meet the weight they can't wrestle the champ you know we're not that desperate after a while so my goal is to build up the heavyweight division bring in more heavyweights we have some good ones here you know Stanley Adams a former world champion Jamie she definitely gets a new gets a world championship match soon Elgin um, is an established heavyweight so like juniors they are no longer juniors are no longer allowed to compete in the heavyweight division we're going to establish that this season as I'm saying like maybe if we have a season five then we'll be way more established our roster is going to be really built up and we're going to go to different heights guys so there's that um, so of course as a as that's been said we're going to go to the indies and see if we can hire somebody I want to take some talent from DFW so badly He wrestles as a junior. Well, looking at his popularity, might not want to sign with us. Oh, this guy's popularity is crap in America. Well, our popularity is good in America. All the way to the left, I've learned this finally. On the left, very left side, first letter is America, and we're A in America right now. And this guy needs some exposure in America, so let's see if he'll sign. Oh, we got a new have. What was he? <laughs> I didn't even check. Um. Okay, he's a heavyweight. All right, so we got a new heavyweight. Um, this is gonna be a big ass show we're booking today. So. So today, big plan is to start the junior heavyweight, the junior tag team title tournament, which will be two matches between two tag teams. And oh, let me hire some scouters. I don't. I've already said. I tried to say last season that I don't care about people with um. When it comes to money, I really don't care about money. You know. Yeah, with money. We have hit such a great height with everything. We're all we're awesome with money right now, guys. So I'm not stressing over that at all. So 12 months. Hire all these guys for 12 months because we need as much talent as possible because we're trying to be number one soon, or at least get into the top three at some point. So we're good there. Europe, Japan, Latin America. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, training center needs some work. I'm gonna upgrade that ring doctor today. We're not the ring doctor. That's see, I've been getting it wrong. The ring doctor is not who heals the wrestlers really. One second. What the clinic is what helps the wrestlers out, and we need a gym level of five. And that's no big deal to me. We're back in the states for this show. Um, I might try to go to Europe. I don't know. Still thinking about it. Um, Japan, we're definitely not going to be able to sell out in Japan at all. So let's see. Oof, we are up there. Hmm. This is what I wanted to upgrade, not the ring doctor. All right, so that's done. Oh yeah, sorry. We gotta do merchandise. Clear out everything, literally everything. It's a new season. We gotta make sure we have fresh stuff. 
T-shirts, put them at 3,000. Uh, what did I say before? I said I don't care about money. I'm over here trying to be careful again. 3,000. Because we're going to make all of it back. This is going to be a big episode. We're going to have a dull one. Put that at 1,000. Action figures. 1,000. Make sure this stuff holds out for a while. Alright. Contracts with sponsors. We have new sponsors. I still haven't written them down. I'm going to get to that now. Uh, my pen's over there. Got a pencil nearby, I think. Nah, let me stretch. Ooh, come here. There we go. Alright, so new sponsors. So we're not allowed to have death matches anymore. Got you. All right. All right. So, Constructa. They have replaced. Um, what was our? What was our? It was a. Uh, who did they replace? It wasn't Jumbo Mart. It keeps my brain keeps telling me Jumbo Mart. They did not replace uh, Jumbo Mart. Who did they replace? Who did they replace? Let me see. Burning Hammer. That's who they replaced. Okay. Constructora. Double. Okay. Inspiration Sportswear is our sponsor again this season. That's good. Our ring is going to look a lot different because of all these different sponsors now. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Danshi. Don she got one more or two more okay two more lit cola and jumbo mart again jumbo mart has been sponsoring us for a while now probably since the second season i think it was the second season we were sponsored so that's cool tv deal let's look into the tv deal real quick so two months left on that one looks like we're are we good two, we're good to the end of the season right nine so it's two we're maybe one episode not one episode yeah one episode is gonna we have to worry about if we'll have a broadcast contract but that's no big deal all right um event let's go ahead and book it i'm so happy we don't have, like this is the fourth season guys if you remember from the first season how we had to keep inviting people over and over again, I'm so happy that we're out of those days. Let's see. Yeah, we may go back to Mexico at some point. Very debatable though. We could go back home to the rural area, but we really need to make some big money. Oof, that's a lot. Mike Armstrong is still signed to LDW. All right, Gilbert Howard makes his debut. He's gonna need an opponent. He can face uh, Will Stewart. He should try to sign Alan Gardner from DFW eventually. Cause that match that with Lions Roar three, Will Stewart and Alan Gardner, that was awesome. Killer match. Davy Carlos, he's gonna need an opponent. Let me think. Hmm. Should we? No, we can't do that. I just thought about it. we can't. I was thinking about hosting like the the trios championship match tonight, but no, we we have to do the um junior heavyweight title tag titles thing. Baron Charles.
Mm, let me think. I think this is where we'll start having the first tag match. Pentagon. The legs are still jacked up. Let's see. We could do that. Hmm. Be a bit of an ugly situation, but we could do that. Hmm. Does Pentagon Pentagon does not have a an opponent? Okay. Hmm. You know what? I don't. We've seen this match before, I believe. Yes, we have for the title. But is this going to be a regular match? Pentagon versus Stanley Adams, maybe or yeah, that'd be an entertaining match. Hmm. Or we could have, just so it's not back to back. I don't like doing back to back. When it comes to these little tournaments, I don't like having the match back to back when it comes to like a show with a bunch of matches. It would create like a dull environment and feel, you know. Doesn't establish as much. So, we're going to put in the first championship. The first uh, tag team. Let's see. Um... They can be the main event. Um, let's see. Tessa. Tessa teams with Barretta. It looks like he has a little bit of an injury. I don't care. Let's see. They can go up against... Adam Davis or not let me think Ellen Miller and Charlie Arai that could happen yeah it's like, this is some to start off the tournament um then we got Pentagon versus Stanley Adams. Hmm. Then we can do not a single tag match again. We can have. Oh, wait, Abdul the Butcher doesn't have a matchup. Hmm. That's a bit odd. Oh, wait. Well... That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Oh. Why did I do that? I didn't mean to make that a tag match. I wasn't thinking. Let's see. Jeff Bryan and G Ricochet and Nick Mondo versus Jeff Bryan and Adam Davis. All right. And then now Abdul the Butcher will face Michael Elgin. Hardcore match. Because that's his um, exclusive contract, says. I'm going to do that now, just so I don't forget.
Hmm. Under hardcore rules. No DQ, no outside. All right. Now we can get back to the good stuff. And then the main event, Jamie Wilson gets her ch world championship match once again, but now against Adam Page. Oh, let me do that. I never did check to see if there's a swap button. No, there's no swap button. Got it. The double champ. Let's get it. Truly, when you look at Jeff, if he wins this tournament, him and his tag team, he'll be the first triple champ. Because he'll be a trios champ, junior champ, and the DFW, champ, DFW uh, junior heavyweight champ. And that is something. Let me see. I got an interesting idea for the trios belts at some point in the future. Alright, so now a tile match. Start off our season big, guys, you know. Now we gotta work with the time limits and everything. Okay, 30 minutes, that's good. 30 minutes. Spinning Panther, yep. That's fine. Oh wait, give this one 45 minutes. And give this one the team. Fix the rules. We're good there. Oh, uh, 45 minutes. Forty-five minutes. Team. I do the butcher versus Elgin. That's no DQ. That's good. Main event. Sixty-minute time limit. Spinning Panther. All right, we're good there. Armstrong is hired. Hundred-dollar ticket price. We're good to go, guys. Let's go ahead and. Can I get it? Can I get the large hall? Ah, worth a try. At least I know how many people we have. Twenty-six thousand four hundred sixty-nine. Twenty-six thousand four hundred sixty-nine. We are overly sold out. Oh my goodness. That's nice. We're almost double for the seats. That's cool. All right. Let's see you. All right. All right. We're good. We're good. Let's go and confirm it. Anything else I want to think about? Um, I don't think there's anything else to talk about here, guys. So, let's go ahead and get on with the show. Um, one thing I want to note that I didn't even, um, I forgot to mention from the beginning. When it comes to our goals last season, look at our money. We made, we met our goal. We doubled what we had at the beginning. At the beginning of last season, we had a million seven hundred thousand with some extra stuff. And by the end of the season, we made it to double that, and we had over four million four hundred thousand. We met our goal, guys. It's awesome. And now I'm about to kill our budget a little bit, but we're gonna make a crap ton of money back because of our popularity now, and with all the stakes going into this show. All right, let's proceed to the event. First episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's see. Let's go ahead and start the show, guys. Uh, let me do a little stretch. Take a little bit of war. So I'm about to do a lot of commentating. By the way, not every show of this season is going to be this long. It's just because of the opening season. We're kind of flexing a little bit because we have a full roster now. So, there's that. Eventually, we'll have up to 10 matches for Lions Roar 4, so that'll be cool. All right, I'm going to shut up now. Let's get on to the show. <laughs> well, technically, I'm not shutting up. I'm about to talk even more, but whatever.
Ooh, welcome back everybody this is season four i'm your host george harris king this is lion's den wrestling blood sweat and tears all right starting off guys we got the newcomer satan's scribe gilbert howard oh my goodness this is exciting then we have another newcomer he debuted at lion's roar three Came up a bit short, but definitely made an impression. This is Satan's foot soldier, Will Stewart. Will Stewart, serious powerhouse. He's basically the black Jeff Cobb. He can wrestle his ass off. Former Olympian. This should be an exciting opening match. Here we go, guys. This match is being contested under a 30-minute time limit. Referee Mark Mike Armstrong, welcome back to another season of LDW, bro. I um, just want to thank our new sponsors, Constructora Saludo, Saludo, Saludable, uh, Inspiration Sportswear, Don Shi, Lit Cola, and Jumbo Mart. LDW is growing and growing per season, guys. Gotta love it. Ooh, nice jumping punch there. Stewart takes him down, and now this airplane spin, the strength of this man. Understand, guys, these are two heavyweights going at it right now. This is awesome, going right for that knee. Misses the lariat. Misses the lariat again. Stewart takes over. All right, Gilbert. Oh, does not get this. Oh, hits him with a low blow. My goodness. Has him. Oh, nice pile driver there. Into another airplane spin. Suplex here. Oh, very unique move there. All right, now what? The exchange between the two big men. Oh, I love it when we put the newcomers together to face off. It shows off to the LEW crowd to see what they offer to the their division and moving forward throughout the show. It's just a battle of like, you know, like almost like new students or the new kid in the school or two new kids in school going at it. You know, just to earn the respect of the um, established people there. Oof. Angle slam. Ooh, chop to the throat. Attacking the knee now. Knee to the gut. Uh-oh. I thought he was going for a burning hammer. This is the torture rack here. Nice torture rack. Oh, and drops him around the top of his knee. Has him. Um, oh, going for the knees again. Nice Ted DiBiase like punch there. Knee to the head. Knee to the head again. Oh, right to the. Family jewels. <laughs> now attacking the leg. My goodness. Another low blow. Armstrong, please disqualify this man. And now going for the legs again. He's really trying to submit Will Stewart in this matchup. Throws him in. It's like, oh, those legs are definitely affected. You saw like how he can't run that fast. It was like he was limping a little bit. Going after him now. It's outside the ring, guys. Wait a minute. What the? A fork. And opens up a cut over Will Stewart's head. Oh, my goodness. Was this guy trained by Abdul the Butcher? Look at the blood just trickling down his face now. And if you remember at... Oh, another torture rack. Too close to the ropes, though. 
If you remember at Lions Roar 3, Will Stewart did have his, um, he popped his uh, eye socket, which opened up a cut above his right, um, on his eyelid, and then he bled throughout that matchup, which is what slowed him down. And now it looks like he's been opened up once again. Oh my goodness. Has him in a torture rack again. We submit this time. Still in it. Oh. Again with the torture rack. Such an exciting match from these two newcomers here tonight. Elbows to the back now. Oh, one, two, three. Wins his debut match here tonight, guys. Welcome in. Excuse me, I had a brain fart there. Welcome to LDW, Gilbert Howard. Very, very nice match, guys. Let's move on. You saw it. At Lions Roar 3, Davy Carlos um, against Pentagon Jr. Pentagon came back so quickly from that um, arm injury. Remember this man, Davy Carlos, he is the most dangerous man in LDW, guys. Um, there's a number one contendership match where Pentagon Jr. faced Davy Carlos in this World Championship tournament. And he, David Carlos, he took him down, put him in his arm submission hole, and just viciously just snapped the arm out of place um, on Pentagon Jr. And within just three months later, Pentagon came back for a rematch, not under a number contendership, as David already lost the um, tournament. Faced him at Lions Roar 3. They went at it. Um, it, it was under strong style rules. And Pentagon Jr. got his vengeance, basically. And now here's the unique Baron Charles. Baron, when um, he came to LDW, he was on a serious undefeated streak. Then he was putting that trios tournament. Um, his team came up short, but right after that, he started he starts competing in these hardcore matchups against Abdul the Butcher. Butcher has left this man with so many stitches in his forehead opening up so many cuts oh now it's a knee bar here one thing to know about Baron Charles he's known for his matches in BJW which is an ultra violent brand in Japan oof and has has extensively trained in karate now Knee to the uh, elbow to the knee, excuse me. Test of strength. Baron takes over. Just because we can't say Baron's uh, nickname, I call him the clown of Japan. The clown of Japan, guys. His name is uh, not of uh, certain guidelines, so we gotta be careful with him. Again, the test of strength, and now Davy just puts him outside of the ring. Davy Carlos is one third of the trio's champions, well, along with Hangman Page and Jeff Bryan. Oof. Nice reverse tombstone there. Now, arm bar, this is what broke Pentagon's arm. Now that I think about it, in that match, it was close to the ropes, so I don't know what happened that night. I guess it just didn't matter to the referee. Like it they just they saw that arm snap went into Pentagon and Pentagon he didn't have to tap. They just called it. It was over. Nice airplane spin here. Gorilla Monsoon style. Puts Davy down. As um Ooh, nice tombstone there again. Now the Gato Clutch. One. Kick out there. Taking a page out of Stanley Adams' book there. Again with the Gato Clutch. 
does not get it though. Now with the nice knee bar again. One thing about Davey, those knee bars are just so brutal all the time. Has injured Michael Elgin on many different occasions as they faced off and put Owen Miller through a minor injury case. Oh, flips him off. Now again with the knee bar. Oof, Baron taking over now. Oof, misses it. Puts him down. Now going for the legs. Another knee bar. Eventually, Baron's got to give in and just tap out. I don't care how strong those legs are. Ooh, nice arm bar. Puts him down. Again with a nice arm bar, trying to loosen them up in every way. That's what that's the thing with these Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fighters. They loosen up their opponents and capitalize on a submission hold at any time they can. Oh, now going to the back of that knee and now follows up with an ankle lock and puts pressure down on the knees again. One thing's for sure, if, even if Baron won this match, he's going to be feeling it by tomorrow. Let's just hope Baron doesn't walk out of this with an injury. Chop to the throat. Punch the gut from Davey. Again with his knee bar, just tap out. Hanging in there. Kicks him off. That one lasts a little bit longer. You can clearly see Baron is losing energy here. And now, impressive way to put him into an R bar again. Gets out of it. And now with the tombstone there, drops him around his head. Now what? Oh, elbow to the back of the head. Gato clutch again. One, two. Oh, kick out there. Again with the knee bar. Baron hanging in there. Oh, gets out of it. Pile driver. And now the stretch of his own. Will Davy kick out? Gets out of it. Puts Baron down. Now dragging him. Oh, man. The knee bar again. Will Baron tap out? Throws him in. Oof. Nice back elbow from Baron Charles. Now it's a headlock here. Gets right out of it. Now Baron going up. Oh. Nice fist dive there. Oh, beautiful guillotine choke to Baron Charles now. Davey has it completely locked in now. Oh. Gato clutch. One, two, three. Oh, I thought that, excuse me. I thought that was it. Chopped to the throat. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Referee, what you gonna do? Is this it? Are they gonna call it? I guess not. Takes him down. The dirty work being shown by Baron Charles there. Now Davey. Looks like he's exhausted now. Oh my god. The testicular claw. Taking a lot of pages out of Stanley Adams' book here. Oh, nasty. Why did he yank on it like that at the end? Doomstone pile driver. Oh, drops him on his head. Now what? 
Oh, oh, oh. Vicious strikes. They knock back to the knee. Will Baron tap out? Does Baron tap? Nope. Oh, that knee is definitely damaged. And now right back to that knee he was just clutching. Baron. Don't break your knee over this one matchup. Getting the fans behind him. Oh, the vicious punches to the chest slash throat. Is it over? No, still in it. Just ate those punches. Knee to the gut there. Davy is exhausted. Nice kick. As you notice, that kick was close to that knee. Now the Gato clutch. One, two, three. And Baron Charles picks up momentum at the start of season four. Congratulations, Baron. Let's see if the momentum will continue from here moving forward. Man, 17 minutes exactly. All right, great match, guys. Let's move on. All right, time to start the the LDW Junior Heavyweight Tag Titles Tournament. All right, there they are. She usually tags with Pentagon Junior, but on in this tournament. Pentagon's not a junior, so she is teaming with the newcomer, the Dude Buster Beretta. And his tag partner, Tessa Blanchard. For those that have been watching all the seasons up to this point, we all know Tessa and Beretta. We're still getting to know him. He's a former IWGP junior heavyweight champion. Welcomed him to, to LDW right around Lions Road three time. Picked up his win at the show, and here he is now. And now their opponents. The perseverant Owen Miller and the good guy, the good wrestler, or whatever his name, his nickname is, Charlie Arai. Owen Miller, we know his past here in ODW. He has definitely got the the Cinderella Man story going for him here. And Charlie Arai, that guy is awesome. He almost, almost had Jeff Bryan at the pay per view. Definitely has a big future moving forward here. This match starts off Tessa. Has the advantage. Oh, oh, forearm strikes there. All right, attacking the back. Misses the pinfall. Those are in. Elbow to the back of the head. They're going for the knee. Oh, throws Tessa out. The strength of Owen Miller is amazing. All this guy does is power lift at the gym. Mix in with his other wrestling abilities. But he is just possibly the strongest junior heavyweight there is in the, the whole division. Oh. Nice Larry again to put Tessa down. Now Tessa going to Beretta now. Kicks both of them are down. Tessa Blanchard has experience. She is a former LDW Tag Team Champion. It would be very special if she can win the LDW Junior Heavyweight Tag Titles as well. Oh, takes Beretta down there. But as I was saying, it would be very special if she held that championship as well. Um, Tessa Blanchard, you know her history. Um, Beretta, this is adds to his resume when it comes to tag team gold. Uh, Owen Miller, this will be his first title victory. And Charlie Rye as well. Moving forward from here. But, no, let's not, fo let's not focus on future tests too much. Let's look at the present tense. Let's see if, wh which one of these teams will advance in this tournament. And it seems like it's a very balanced matchup so far. Nice double drop kick. The exchange between Tessa and Charlie Arai. And Tessa is down. Now a headlock here. 
Here comes Beretta just to break it up. Oh, kicks Charlie down. Now going after Owen, puts Owen down as well. Tessa attacking the knee. Elbows to the head. Elbow from Tessa to Owen now. Those, oh, flips are over. Nice forearm strikes there. Now the half Boston Crab from Owen Miller. Kicks Owen down. Here comes Beretta. Kicks both of them down. Elbow there. Beretta in. Now Charlie in. Throws him. Elbow. Throws him. Oof. Nice suplex there. Put Beretta down. This match is contested under a 45 minute time limit, guys. Oh, kicks Beretta down. Now it's the figure four leg lock. Tessa in. Kicks both of them down. Charlie with the defiant attitude. More of that defiant attitude. He will not be put he will not be backing down to the veterans here. Tessa puts him down. Kick there. Oh, nice modified dominator. And now with the modified scoop slam from Tessa. Double suplex. Oh, puts Charlie a ride down. Throws him in. The back and forth from Owen Miller and Beretta. Beretta wins the exchange. Oof. Talking a lot of crap towards him now. Blitz Owen Miller. Oof. The defense from Owen Miller there. Now the elbow to the back of Beretta's head. Now elbows to the back of Miller's head. Lock up here. Oh, 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 oh! Nice chops. Kojima style there. Kicks him. Now here comes Tessa. Oh, kelped across the Tessa Blanchard. Now back breaking to Beretta. Should just went back to his corner. Throws Tessa in. Tessa fighting back. Later on tonight, this tournament continues to, to for the um, teams to advance to the finals for the belts next show. It'll be Ricochet and Sick Nick Mondo facing off against Jeff Bryan and Adam Davis later on tonight. Whoever wins this team will face whoever wins the whoever wins that match later on tonight as well. Next show for the LDW Junior Heavyweight Tag Titles next show. Should be exciting. Should be an exciting um, match later on tonight. As Boss and Crab executed. Oof. Puts Beretta down. Here he comes with the PK. Oh, PK right to Beretta. Going in once again. PK again. This is that spitting kick now. Owen and Tessa are tagged in. Brett puts them both down. Now everybody's fighting. Throws Tessa in. Brett going after Charlie. Owen and Tessa. Tessa. Oh. Charlie right in the way of Tessa there. Owen tossed down now. Looks like Tesla's about to tag in Charlie for a second there. 
That would have been possible. Oh, elbow to the jaw of Tessa puts her right down. Promise carry, Death Valley driver. Oof, puts Tessa down again. What's he calling for? Is he calling for the shotgun? Oof, if he was, Tessa just evaded it. Snap suplex from Tessa. Oh, Owen fighting back. Tags in Charlie. Puts Tessa down. Tessa kicks both of them off. And here comes Charlie. Oh, that kick just drops her just like that. Now what? Oh, kick to the back of her head. Elbow. Puts him down. Beretta in. Throws him. Charlie. Back and forth between Trent Beretta and Charlie Arai. Here comes Trent with the Lariat. Oh, spinning Lariat there from Charlie Arai to counter. Oh. I'm loving. Oh. Here comes Charlie PK. Here comes Owen Miller now. Over to the back. They taunt together. Okay. Okay, that was a little bit of miscommunication, but Owen Miller with the forearms. Oh, now a splash to follow up. Over to the jaw now. Now the Celtic cross there. Forearm strikes. Nice punches. Oh, Beretta's put down. Elbow there. We're dragging him. Here comes Tessa. Nice double suplex there. Owen just dragging Brad all the way to the corner. Ooh, slams Tessa just like that. Here comes Charlie. And Owen. And Charlie just circling Tessa now. Elbow there. Throws Tessa in. Now Tessa throws Charlie out. And now Tessa's going after Charlie. All right. One thing she needs to be advised of is that she's in dangerous territory between these two. Oh. Nice suplex there. Now the assisted powerbomb on the outside to Beretta. Now one thing to note. Beretta is resting. Oh. A neck injury. So it made this damage the neck even more. Now Tessa is rocked over there. Tessa back in. Misses that spinning back kick. Now Beretta trying to collect himself. Throws her in. Oh, puts her down just like that. Tessa puts Charlie down. Now Tessa going in. Spinning back kick. Misses. Oof. Gets it that time. Puts Charlie down. Beretta has been tagged in now. Charlie with the nice snap, nice suplex there. Owen back in. Beretta has him. Elbow there. Comes Charlie. Oh! Nice forearm strikes. Very nicely done. Throw 
Throws them in. Oh, Beretta reverses out of that. Now hooking the legs and just smacking at the knee of Owen Miller. All right. Tags the back. Now tags in Tessa. Now Charlie's tagged back in. Takes them both off. Kicks there. Oh, Lariat there. PK. Has her. Brain Buster there. And Tessa Ari back up. Double arm DDT. That's what won her the tag belts. One, two. Oh, and Owen breaks up just in time. Kick to the back there. Assisted power bomb. Oh, Beretta is down. Reverses Ivy. Here comes Charlie. Misses the lariat. Double arm DDT again. Owen breaks it up just like that. All right, takes them both down. Assisted power bomb to Tessa. Comes Charlie. Nice double foot stomp there. Oh, cold breaker there. Pinfall one, two. Oh, Owen Miller kicks out. They all lock up. Kills across the Beretta. Now they meet. Oh, miscommunication there. Owen and Charlie stand. Now it's Owen and Tessa. Owen's down. Here comes Beretta. This is that Lariat. And now with the Death Valley driver. Now Tessa's still in it. Celtic cross to Tessa. And Trent is rocked. Take that back. Drags him. Celtic cross from Owen Miller. Has him. Jesus. Beautiful move. One. Oh. Tessa. Oh, nice suplex there. Oh, nice lariat. Tags in Tessa. Double drop kick there. Throws no win. Oh, Tessa takes him down. Elbows from Owen Miller. Tags in Charlie Arai. Elbows and now forearms. Elbow. Throws Tessa in. Here comes Charlie. Oh, nice lariat. This man never goes for pinfalls. Double arm DDT. Very close to a corner. Pinfall one. Two. Oh, kick out from Charlie. I really thought that was it. Oh, down there right to Trent Beretta. Now Owen on top of Tessa. Choco to Beretta here. Oh, Tessa breaks it that breaks it up. Oh, Cold Breaker to Charlie. One, two, three. Tessa Blanchard and excuse me. Tessa Blanchard and Beretta advance to the championship match. What a very exciting match, guys. Very long. All right, moving on. All right, up next is Pentagon Jr. versus Stanley Adams. And there he is, guys. 
the Lucha Ninja El Cero Miedo Pentagon Jr. Pentagon and LDWOG. This guy's gone to so many wars. A former LDW tag team champion with Tessa Blanchard. Here he is tonight. Face off against the former LDW heavyweight champion Stanley Adams. Stanley was very I think he defended his belt at least on five different occasions until Lions Roar 3 lost that belt to the original champion Hangman Page. But you know, more is yet to come for these two in the future. Pentagon has been passionate to become a world champion one day here in LDW as he is a former Impact and Lucha Underground world champion. Stanley Adams though, after that loss at Lions Roar 3, he's just trying to make his way back up to the top. Maybe if he picks up a win over Pentagon, it'll make him look more likable for a world championship match in the future. But speaking of the world championship, in our main event in the evening, Jamie, it was talked about all season long. Jamie Wilson will be ha will have her world championship match once again. Last time she had her chance was against Stanley Adams as world champion. That was an amazing, amazing match. But after that, in singles competition, she um, created another winning streak moving up to this match. And now here she is going to face Adam Page tonight for the heavyweight title. Um, Jamie Wilson, she's she is quite the competitor here in LDW, a, a two-time LDW Tag Team Champion with Michael Elgin. Um, quite the competitor, as she is the protege of Michael Elgin with the strength and the ability advantages. Um, she's faced everybody here in LDW, beaten all the greats, even has defeated Davy Carlos, has defeated Jeff Bryan, has defeated you know Pentagon Jr. Ricochet, a whole bunch of pe a whole bunch of people, including Tessa Blanchard as well. But the only people she has not defeated are Stanley Adams and Hangman Page. Then truly, she's never faced Hangman Page, and that's that's where this is her test here tonight to be to maybe become the fourth world champion, or Hangman Page defends and keeps his belt here tonight. Now the exchange between. Stanley Adams and Pentagon. Oh, so many four, so many um, uppercuts shown there. Now going for the head. Oh, that was back there. Going off the ropes. Oh, kick to the gut. And now gets out of that. Going for the back of Stanley Adams now. My goodness. Chop there. Elbow to the back. Pinfall. One, two, kick out. Now with the. Misses the power bomb there. Here comes Pentagon. Oh, nice senton. Ooh, neck breaker to Stanley there. Now it's the arm bar here. Oh, reverse tombstone there from Stanley. As I mentioned before with Baron Charles, Baron Charles and Stanley Adams, they really wrestle exactly the same, which is pretty interesting. At some point, they will face off in the future. Which should be good. Alright, Pentagon with the um, arm lock hold here. Stanley gets out of it. Going up now. But changes his mind. Puts Pentagon down. Going off the ropes. Oh, elbow to the back of the head. Misses that forearm strike. And now the combination of punches from Stanley. Throws them in here. Oh, both of them fake each other out. Suplex from Pentagon puts the big man down. Now Stanley taunting on him. 
Oh, nice face planter there. One, two. Oh, almost had Pentagon there. Oh, and a low blow. Why does the referee allow it? Now what? What is he doing? Oh, reverses him. Pentagon with a suplex. And suplex is the big man right outside the ring. What is Pentagon doing here? Our right, Adam's in. Pentagon out. Now Pentagon back in. Throws him in. Comes Stanley. Oh, back elbow. Throws him in. Raking the eyes across the top rope. Oh. And here comes Adams. The athleticism shown by the big man. Picks him up. Hang on. Trying to come back in this match now. Oh, elbow to the back. Now Adams. Elbow to Adams there. Oh, backbreaker. Oh, nice lariat. Neck breaker there to Adams. Pinfall. One, two. Oh, kick out there. Backbreaker. Now Pentagon trying to catch his breath. Oof. Nice eye gouge from Adams. Puts Pentagon down. The exchange between Adams and Pentagon now. He's fired up. Super kick. And now a discus elbow from Pentagon. And back to that arm. Misses that elbow. Scoop slam puts him down. Oh, face planter. Pinfall. One, two, three. Stanley Adams defeats Pentagon Jr. here on our first episode of the fourth season. Congratulations, Stanley Adams, re picking up some momentum since Lions War 3. Don't know why he didn't get off of him there. Kind of weird. All right, congratulations. Moving on, guys. All right, here we go with our second matchup of this Junior Tag Titles Tournament. Ricochet and Nick Mondo, the former LDW Tag Champs, against Jeff Bryan and Adam Davis. Up next, guys. And there they are with matching colors. The current LDW Junior Heavyweight Champion, Nick Mondo. Slash now the former LDW Heavyweight Tag Champs, Sick Nick Mondo and Ricochet, guys. Both of these men have made so much history. They've built the Junior Heavyweight Division here in LDW from the beginning. It would be an honor to see them as the LDW Junior Tag Champs. But here are their opponents. The current DFW Junior Heavyweight Champion, Jeff Bryan, and his tag team partner, the newcomer, Adam Davis. Now, Adam Davis, this is a big high-stakes opportunity for him. He's stepping in there with three of the OGs of the Junior Heavyweight Division. Let's, let's hope he doesn't pass us up this opportunity. Starting off with... The classic, the history of this rivalry, Ricochet and Rick and uh, Jeff Bryan. Jeff puts him down. My nice scoop slam there. Lock up. Ricochet puts him down. Throws him in. Oh. Ricochet put. Okay. Nice scoop slam there. Here comes Jeff Bryan. 
Elbow there. Nice hip toss into the knee drop. Ricochet is so exciting here in LDW. Just gotta love him. Frankenstein from Brian. Now here comes Davis. You gotta remember Ricochet and Adam Davis are now on good terms. During our Mexico tour leading up to Lions War 3, these two were going at it like animals. Uh, Ricochet defeated Adam Davis in his debut match. And also Adam Davis faced off against Ricochet in that um, six-man tag match. Which was something. All right. Oof. Nice fisherman uh, driver there. Now overpowering Sick Nick Mondo. Like I said, Davis does not want to pass up this opportunity. He's in there with three legends, legends of the junior heavyweight division. If you remember from season one through season two, we had probably the smallest junior heavyweight division out of all the brands here on Fire Promoter Mode. And, you know, Davis is part of this new generation that's coming through. So, this is almost like a guy like, um, shoot, I'm trying to come up with a good comparison. It's almost like Takamichi Noku, I guess, coming into the the ECW. This is not a great comparison, but you know, back in the 90s, you had Takamichi Noku. He was up coming up in the um, light heavyweight division. It's like if he came to ECW and tried to get into the ECW television title picture, and he stepped in there with RVD, Sabu, or guys like or um, um Jerry Lynn in there. You know what I'm saying? So. This is this is a big one, but back to the action. Uh, Sick Nick, of course, he has a light tube. We've seen this rivalry enough times. Sick Nick Bondo and Jeff Bryan, the two junior heavyweight tag uh, not tag the two junior heavyweight champions here in LDW. Oof, nice neck breaker there. Tags in Davis now. Now Ricochet's in. Davis and Ricochet. And Ricochet just throws him around like he's just like some kind of serious rookie. As he is. Oh my goodness. Nice suplex there. Spinning back kick from Ricochet. Ooh, spinning neck breaker there. Nice big boot. And now the stretch muffler there. Nick Mondo breaks it up. Here comes Mondo. Oh, double foot stomp to Davis. Kicks both of them off. Davis showing he will not job to either of these men. Given their LDW resumes. Nice leg lock hold. Oh, kicks both of them down. Here comes Oh, Now attacking that knee. Pinfall here. One. Two. Oh, kick out there. And Jeff Bryan gets thrown right outside the ring. Falling clothesline there. Here comes Mondo. Here's the question to you guys, fans. Which one which tag team will advance to the title match against Tessa Blanchard and Beretta? Nice assisted power bomb. Again with the assisted power bombs and Mondo now. Alright, things are picking up now. For the team of Davis and Brian. Things have been kind of shifting towards. Oh, nice DDC. Things have been kind of shifting towards Mondo and Ricochet. So far. Here comes. Alright, nice leg whip there. Now back to that knee. DDT from Mondo. Here comes Mondo. Nice double foot stomp there. Elbows there. Powerbomb. Oh, saves Ricochet from that. And tags in Davis. Cutter there. Here's what here's something to say about the resumes. If Ricochet and Sicknick win, they'll be double tag champs 
on their resume or their accomplishments list here in LDW. If Jeff Bryan wins, he's already a trios champion and a DFW junior heavyweight champion. This will just add a third belt to his waist. And he'll be the first uh, triple belt champ here in LDW, which would be very prestigious for him. And now last ride sitting powerbomb. Ricochet is down. Now tags in not Mondo out of nowhere. Davis with a low blow at Ricochet. Mondo's right next to you, dude. Ricochet. Oh, gut check there. And now Mondo capitalizing with the clover cloverleaf, excuse me. Now here's Brian. Brian breaks it up. And now going in on sick Nick Mondo. Davis needs to really control his frustrations here. Oh my god, release Burning Hammer! Pinfall. One, two. Oh, that was almost it, guys. Mock up. Tags on Ricochet. Kamagoye! Oh, to Brian. Suplet. Oh, does not get it. Davis puts him out. Now Ricochet falling clothesline. Ricochet is fired up. Tags in Mondo. Soup does not get it. Ricochet tossed out by Davis. Mondo dragging Davis now. Davis going to the corner. Tags in Brian. The exchange between Brian and Mondo. Oh, the hate between those men. You just gotta wonder when will it ever end between Brian and Mondo. I mean, with Ricochet and Brian, it's just off and on, but with Mondo and Brian, they're always facing off against each other here in LDW. Ushi Goroshi. Pinfall one, two, kick out there, or broken up by Ricochet, excuse me. Elbows from Brian. Roll up here. One, two. Oh, almost had him. That would have been it. And now the power bomb there. One, two. Oh, Mondo kicks out. Release. Burning hammer. One, two. Oh, almost covered Brian there. Neck breakers in Mondo. Elbow there, and now the stretch, mu stretch muffler to Mondo. Oh, power bomb here. One, two, three. Oh, that would have been an interesting way to win. Throws. Oh, Ricochet with a nice flip. Now Davis in. Neck breaker there to Brian. Davis is in. Ricochet fights both of them off. Throws him in. Brian's sitting over there. Davis. Oh, gut check to Davis now. Ricochet going off the ropes. Misses it. Tags in Jeff Bryan. Falling clothesline. Oh, this gets Larry out of nowhere to Ricochet. That was... Wow, I thought Davis was about to get out the ring. Such a brutal move. Elbows to Ricochet. Gut check. Now what? Brian is shook. Now Mondo in. Elbows from Brian. Mondo bounces his head off that turnbuckle. Now Brian. Oh, sitting power bomb. Oh, Ricochet still kind of just like mimicked what Davis did to him. Choking power bomb. Pitfall. One, two. Broken up by Ricochet. Saves Mondo in this match. Double. Kama Goye to Davis. Oh. Brian. Uh, torn. 
Going for the tornado DDT. Mono gets all of it. Now the clover leaf. Will he tap? Oh. Everybody stays in it. Release. Burning hammer. Brian lands in the ring still. Pinfall. One. Two. Oh, I thought that was it, guys. Ricochet. Oh, the pedigree to Davis. Takes both of them off. And now Jeff. Oh, with the sitting power bomb. One, two, three. I thought he just broke it up, but they have one guys, Jeff Bryan and Adam Davis advance to the junior tag titles match on our next show. Very, very, very impressive match, guys. Congratulations to Jeff Bryan and Adam Davis. Good luck in your title match next show. All right, and now a grudge match. Bit of tension since Lions Roar 3. Michael Elgin had a serious problem with Abdul the Butcher brutalizing his opponent so far since he debuted. Now, let's see what Michael Elgin will show instead of tell to Abdul the Butcher here in this hardcore encounter. Here we go, guys. Up next in our co main event. And there he is, guys. The hardcore icon, the innovator of ultra violent wrestling, Abdullah the Butcher, guys. We've really got a hope for Michael Elgin's life in this matchup. We've never seen Elgin in a hardcore match. This is going to be something. But one thing these are some big men. I say possibly over 700 pounds is going to be in this ring during this match. Referee, stay out the way and maybe even keep a mask on because it's going to get musty. All right. Big Mike, one half of the LDW Tag Team Champions. Good to see him again. All right. Here we go. Contested under hardcore rules. Abdullah likes to use the forks. The chairs, the, the light tubes, the the kendo sticks, anything. Anything to get his hands on. He'll even use the referee if he can. You gotta watch out for Abdul the Butcher. Elgin, a strong man. This guy probably would, pr would be able to press slam Abdullah in this matchup. Nice punch there from Abdullah to counter. And now the suplex. Oh, very nice athleticism from Butcher. Oh, nice headbutt there. Now the nasty claw there. Oh, nice elbows. Now the headlock to Butcher. Elbows. Now back into that headlock. Throws them in. And one thing I want to advise Elgin of, the opponents of Butcher make this mistake in the past. They go to the outside of the ring, and as soon as we get to the outside, that's where Butcher has the complete advantage. Oh, nice claw there. Butcher will bite your forehead and rip your skin open, use any weapons he can. And this isn't the hardcore rules, but it's worse when it's outside the ring. It's just like it's, it's like a shark smelling blood with that opportunity, whether it be a no DQ or regular match. Nice Boston Crab here. Gets Mike Logan off. That didn't sound right, but he pushed him off. Throws him in. Oh, kick there. Elbow to the back. Dead lifting German to the big man. 
That's what I'm talking about. The strength of Elgin is amazing. And now scoop slam to the big man. To the head. Chops. Very nicely done. Throws him in. And now, what? like I said before, the press slam to Abdul the Butcher. Elbow there. Oh, nice chop there to the bridge of Elgin's nose. Puts him down. Oh, a chop. And now with the claw again. Surprise, no weapons has entered the ring yet. Oh, headbutt there. As I said before, when it comes to Abdul the Butcher's opponents, they just need to know not to take it to the outside of the ring. Press slam from Elgin. Oh. And it looks like Michael Elgin knows not to take this to the outside of the ring because he knows Abdul the Butcher will use anything to his advantage from there. So now he's just trying to keep this at a wrestling match. Suplex, stalling, showing the strength of Elgin. And Abdul gets right back up. Oh, headbutt there to Elgin. Elbow there. Elgo going off. Lariat there. Pinfall. One, two, kick out. Punch to the gut there. Iron Claw. Oh. Oh, and now biting the forehead open of Elgin. Oof. And now there it is, the Crimson Mask, guys. One thing I forgot to mention for those that are still new to the series. Abdul the Butcher has an exclusive... Oh! Flipping Senton off the top rope. Athleticism of Elgin's insurmountable. Elbows, discus elbow. As I was saying, Michael Elgin, not Michael Elgin, Abdul the Butcher has an exclusive contract when he signed to LDW. Every match Abdullah has here in LDW will be contested under hardcore rules, which works to his advantage. Just because of who he is. Oh, nice deadlifting German. And he gets out of that. Now Elgin and Abdullah gets out of it. That chop did nothing to Elgin. Elgin is still staying in it. Elbows, discus elbow. Throws him in. And the press slam. Oh. Throws him in. Press slam once again, guys. Oh. Throws him in. Now dragging the face. Opening up the cut even more across that rope. Pinfall. One. Two. Oh, he had him. With no significant move done to Elgin, I guess the blood loss had got to him, and Abdul the Butcher picks up his picks up more momentum here in LDW. My goodness, what a brutal, brutal co-main event, guys! But now it's time for our main event of the evening for the LDW Heavyweight Championship. One half of the LDW Tag Team Champions, Jamie Wilson, facing off against the new LDW Heavyweight Champion, Adam Page. Here we go. Up next. Let's go, guys. And there she is, the behemoth, the myth, the legend, Mr. Women, one half of the LDW Tag Champs, Jamie Wilson. While even looking at her losses here in LDW, they were not significant. This woman might as well be looked on as undefeated, and she is an irresistible force. And there he is. The new LDW Heavyweight Champion. He won his title back at Lions War 3, facing off against Stanley Adams. He's got to be on top of the world, but now he's got a challenge. Jamie Wilson has never faced Hangman Page, and Hangman Page has never faced Jamie Wilson. This 
is special. Here we go. Throws him in. Punch the gut there. Those are in. Oh, misses that elbow. Oh, elbow to the back of Hangman Page's head. Now just overpowering the champ. Hangman trying to come back. Test the strength. Jamie's definitely going to win this. I guess not. It matches up. Throws him in. Oh, power slam. All over the ropes, though. Forearm strikes. Oh my goodness. Now one thing with Hangman Page as he's been LDW Heavyweight Champ in the past. Very nice. Tombstone to reverse out of that. One thing to say about Hangman Page. He knows it's like to get beaten down and still come out on top in the end. And again with the reversal Tombstone. I think Jamie should stop using that move. Oh. Jamie is very, a very fantastic wrestler amazing um just a big force in that ring um if she's losing the advantage i can't even put that much doubt on her because i think i've seen that before as well and she still picked up the win this is a very um balanced matchup guys nice lariat there she's really taking advantage hey man page oh boston crab here but one thing, she's moving a little bit too fast, in my opinion, because Hangman Page can capitalize off of it at any time, reserving his stamina in this matchup. Oh, puts Jamie down, see? Now going up, elbow drop to the big woman. Now dragging her to the middle. Here comes Hangman Page. He's going to go for another elbow drop there. Jamie gets back up, throws Jamie in. Kicks to the gut there. All right, Jamie with the slam there. Now Jamie, oh, finally gets that tombstone. Oh, elbow to the back. Now dragging Page. Pinfall. One, two, kick out there. Oh, nice moonsault. One, kick out. Throws her in. Here comes Paige. Oh, nice flipping drop kick there. Goes right to the knee of her again. DDT from Paige. Paige taking the advantage. Now shooting star press. One, two, kick out there. One thing to note about Jamie, this she's faced all the best here in LDW. Um, this just adds another person. If she can defeat Hangman Page for the belt here tonight, she's defeated every every big star here in LDW so far one two uh, on that list are Pentagon Jr. Jeff Bryant one two kick out um, Ricochet Nick Mondo Tessa Blanchard all the OGs basically the only person she hasn't faced is Michael Elgin and that's because that's her her current um, basically sensei or uh, instructor right now as she's here in LDW those are in now, this is the biggest test of her career. Oh. She's also faced off against Stanley Adams, but could not pick up the win over him. The only, peop the only people that have defeated... Um, oh, nice layer there. The only people that have defeated um, Jamie Wilson out of her... I think out of, like, what? This is her 10th or 11th match. The only people that have pinned Jamie are... Pinfall 1, 2, is this it? Oh, kick out from Jamie. Very close. The only people that have pinned Jamie are Pentagon Jr. and Stanley Adams. That's it. And she's had a redemption against Pentagon. Oh, nice. Double underhook powerbomb there. Oh, knees to the gut. She's proven she could beat Pentagon, which cleaned up her loss against him. But Stanley Adams, that's someone that she'll have to face in the future. Tombstone. Oh, splash here. One, two. Is she a new champ? Oh, kick out there. Oh, shooting star press. One, two. Oh, almost had her. Jamie's exhausted. That's one thing that got to her in her world championship match before 
was fatigue and and just know hangman page he's he's very active on the treadmill he can really he's he's mr cardio after a while especially with the full gear challenge um he he definitely is not going to get winded in this matchup but the size advantage the size advantage is not playing the favor of jamie wilson when it comes to her stamina levels that was the back I'm trying to get the crowd behind her for motivation elbow there and a lariat to follow up here comes hangman elbow drop will jamie stand who will stand up they both stand at the same time knee to the gut jamie trying to get the fans trying to get the fans behind her here oh got him she's going up now splash to the back of ad of uh, adam page and page stands up they're eye to eye throws them out jamie whoa we've never seen that from her nice springboard over the top rope oh the strength of adam's uh strength of adam page being shown now with the dominator power bomb into the corner of the barricade jesus just not want to get counted out there hangman page backbreaker now deadlifting german pinfall one two three hangman page is still your ldw heavyweight champion but what a valiant effort from jamie wilson here in our main event wow hangman page and his second title run here continues to be the undisputed champion once again very nice very nice guys great way to start our fourth season probably the first this is the longest show we've had when it comes to starting the season or just in general this might be our longest show throughout the whole series pretty awesome pretty awesome Definitely sold out. I thought we had over 20,000 people that were coming. I guess. Our average card rating, 85%. Great show. Alright, continuing on. And just like that, we made a lot more than was expected, honestly. We started out at what four million seven hundred something and we finished this show off with about almost six million which is pretty good if you want to look at the details um details we made some good money off of that oh, excuse me moving on let me add this to the playlist now all right Scotty Lawrence. Oh, DFW Scotty Lawrence. Okay, good for them. Eddie of DFW was arrested for aggravated assault. Assault. This will hurt their popularity. Why do I care about DFW? Uh, we're not DFW. We're LDW. What the world? Stanley was a guest on North American comedy show live from New Jersey. They pulled solid ratings. Oh, good job, Stanley. He is a comedy act after a while. Anyways, thanks guys for watching. You know what? I'm gonna get it out the way now. Do the do all the expenses before the next show because like I feel like that took up part of our time last time. I'm willing to just spend this little bit of time doing this. Maybe they're telling me about DFW stuff because we're in a good relationship with them. That's their fault though. Keep control of your wrestlers. That Eddie guy is probably about to um, have some problems there, though. Oh, we sold out on a lot of stuff. We can keep that up. But put this at 3,000 again. Just so this is all set up by the time we come back next time. Put this at 5,000. It's looking at how it sold. This is 1,000 before. Do it. Let's do it. Action figures. 
3,000. Our popularity is so high now. Things are looking up. Keep this at 1,000 because it keeps getting recalled last season and the season before. Brandon snacks are a trip after a while, guys. All right. Um, let's go ahead and save it up. All right, guys. I've been your host, George Harris King. Welcome to Season 4 of LDW. Uh, see you next time on Episode 2. Deuces.